As we come on the air, News 4 tracking heat's new toll. This is News 4 at 6 on air and streaming. I'm Samantha Jones. And I'm Corey Stark. This wave of hot temps is wreaking havoc on area farmers. Brutal temperatures combined with little rainfall are pushing crops to their limit. Just over 40 miles west of St. Louis is Franklin County. And News 4's Caroline Hecker visited a farm in Labadee where crops could be on the verge of being lost. Every day like clockwork. Terry Sweppy is tending to his farm. But this year has tested him and pushed him to the limit with Mother Nature being less than cooperative. Within a day, all of a sudden the ground went from basically being too wet to too dry. We couldn't hardly get a seed in the ground in some places. So it's been a very it's been a little challenging, to say the least, this spring. A rainy spring forced Sweppy to put some of his crops in the ground in late May, nearly two months behind schedule. The surface is, is really, really dry. Now, those young plants are struggling to hold on during this early summer heat as their roots are still immature. They'll be up like this. When that plant pulls itself up, it's not taking in the sun's rays to be able to produce the nutrients that it, it should. So it's basically shutting itself down. We took a ride around the farm to see the impact little rain is having on the crops. A nearby tree line has killed 24 rows of corn, sucking up all the moisture underground. And there's the start of your bread, loaf of bread. His wheat crop is about ready to be harvested, and he's out harvesting hay daily to keep it from drying out in the sun. Corn and soybeans can be salvaged, he says, but they need rain, and soon. We're going to have to have timely rains to be able to, you know, prolong it. If we don't get any rain until August, this is not going to survive. With input costs triple that of last year, farmers are hopeful for a good harvest this in the fall as consumers so could feel the heat of a crop shortfall. In Franklin County, Caroline Hecker, News 4.